You might wonder what my father has to do with Coast Guard. But, um, and of course, I should have listened more to him. But uh, testing for Coast Guard is all about doing your homework before you start. Money makers actually have started testing and then aborted and gone home, uh, changing the system, uh, realizing it was not as easy as it might have looked. Most of these changes has been done to filter with higher grade of filtration, uh, electrolytic systems with uh, higher oxidant levels, which again require more power, and UV systems, more UV exposure to the species also requiring more power. The Coast Guard has many test programs, and uh, when uh, making this program, they uh, started uh, looking into what has IMO done and so on, and then they incorporated the EPA uh, and the ETV program in the test protocols, which is different from IMO. And Regarding the test facilities, uh, it has to be a totally independent place, uh, independent of makers and uh, independent of everyone, actually. And it has to have the capability to conduct and follow the ETV test pro protocols, and they have a really rigorous QIQC program. But the basic requirements from IMO and Coast Guard are actually the same, the basic ones. But there are some differences. For the specified species in the list you just saw, uh, IMO require that these, uh, the rest of the species, they should be dead or viable, meaning they uh, cannot reproduce. But Coast Guard requires the rest of them to be dead. And that little word dead has created a big dispute between UV makers and Coast Guard. And I will not go into that discussion. There are also differences when it comes to water qualities. Uh, they have different limits. IMO re require uh, salinity levels slightly different from Coast Guard. Coast Guard is much more uh, restrictive, and uh, they define fresh water really close to what we can drink, actually. Uh, brackish water and, it's, uh, and so on is a little bit different from what IMO is claiming. It's also a difference between these species. The, for Coast Guard, you're actually really testing freshwater species. And these guys, they look quite different from each other. And some of them are really hard to kill, actually. So, uh, and we are in the killing business, so this is slightly tougher. And it's also some key areas and uh, where, where things are different. And it's different in the way you are testing. It, uh, it's difference in holding time, it's uh, difference in the number of C tests, uh, and then the way you report the tests. You can say with IMO, you can actually do C test eight times, and they, you see it's only three that has passed, for instance. Uh, with Coast Guard, everything is reported. The moment somebody has a Coast Guard approval, you can really read everything that system has done. And it's two areas that are even more important, and that's the two on the bottom here, that the tests are run by the facility. It's like when you are putting your car to service, you deliver the car and the key, and they call you in between if they find something, and then they call you again, come and pick it up and pay the bill. That is basically what's happening when you test for Coast Guard. And on board a ship, 
It's the crew who runs the system. Coast Guard want to verify that the system is easy to understand and easy to run by the crew. And the tests, as I said, is all done by independent laboratory. The Coast Guard are looking into the efficiency and the design of the system. IMO only at efficiency, meaning it's doing the job to kill the species. With the US Coast uh, type approval, you match the efficiency of IMO. This has already been touched by the speaker in front of me, that Coast Guard has issued uh, extension until January 2018. Uh, there are still no system with a type approval, but uh, it looks like it's coming. We are, for our part, halfway in the testing, and so far, no negative feedback. And we expect to have finished both the land and sea tests by the end of May 2016. And I can tell you, a lot of homework has been done by my colleagues here to come this far. Thank you very much.